my goals for doing this session are actually many fold. One of the goals for doing this session is that I would like to actually eventually end up with uh, quite a number of people who are very good mediums who are on the divine love path who can connect with divine love spirits and that then a lot of truths can be uh, can come from the spirit world through those mediums to you and we can start looking at even publishing those and printing those uh, messages out as a as a um, if you like as a book or a, or a, a heap of a, a resource of messages that can be used to help people through their emotional condition. The other thing that we'd like to do in this process is to, if, if mediums have more clarity, what we can start doing is teaching spirits. And one of the biggest problems that, a, that faces a celestial spirit is that it's very, very difficult for them to connect emotionally to a person in the first to sixth spheres uh, due to lots and lots of emotions that exist in those persons in the first to sixth spheres. And so they find actually, the celestial spirit usually finds a lot more assistance um, if somebody on earth can help those spirits and, and then get at least a connection or a communication going between those spirits and the celestial spirits. So we could actually finish up helping large groups of spirits in the spirit world moving from the first sphere onward to other spheres in the spirit world. Now that obviously has a flow on effect onto the earth. Because the flow on effect on the earth is that many spirits in the first sphere are heavily earth bound or very interested in what's going on on earth and they highly influence what's happening on the earth. And so if these spirits uh, could actually move into newer conditions and, and more happy conditions they would be less, fre less frequently influencing people on earth in a negative way. And that has a very, very powerful effect on the earth. So um, I've actually at some, st at some stages spoken to fifth groups of 50,000 to 100,000 spirits at once. And of those 50 to 100,000 spirits, often 80 or 90% of them get on the divine path from that one discussion. So that's how effective it can be in the spirit world to actually help people get onto a, another path of progression and actually help them actually experience more bliss. You see, here on Earth, the problem we have often is that we're not easily convinced, are we? And because we are in the spirit world, we can't look down on the Earth and see all of these things or all of these truths. So the things that I've been teaching you the last year, many of you still have sort of doubts about them and so forth because it you feel that many of these things can't be verified. Now that problem doesn't exist for a spirit. For a spirit, they can go and verify almost everything that I've actually said in these classes. And so that makes it very easy for them to investigate truth. It also makes it very easy for them to, if they are open-hearted and they have a humble spirit, to actually take on new truth and investigate that and to investigate it with, with a far less blockages to the process of investigation. So you are actually capable, all of you who are mediums already, are actually capable of, he of helping huge amounts of spirits. Huge amount, and if you can think of spirits as people in the spirit world, you can help huge amounts of people with very little effort. So it's a very, very effective way of assisting the changes that are going to occur here on Earth. And that's one of the reasons why I'm very interested in helping mediums develop their gift and also helping healers develop their gift. Because both of those, both of those methodologies are actually relationships between spirit persons and ourselves.